Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Gymfluencers UK. The gym we're trying today is Berkshire Honey and Orange Blossom Gin. That's why we're in orange. That's why we're orange. It's from Berkshire Botanicals. Indeed. Distilled with nine botanicals, including Norway spruce, this gin is infused with local honey and orange blossom, which we love. The inspiration from this gin comes from the local flora and fauna of the Yatterton Estate where Berkshire Botanical Gin is created. It's one of the largest Christmas tree growers in the UK. It oh, always gets them excited. I love it, I love it. So it also comes in a 70 centiliter bottle. It doesn't, it comes in a 50 centiliter bottle, an ABV of 40.3% for 21 pounds. Sorry, I always go 70, I but know. this is a 50. It's a, it's a smaller it's bottle. It's a cute little bottle. Yeah, so the, the person behind this is Johnny Neal of uh, the Neal family, obviously. <laughs> Well but, done. But they are, they're, they're kind of, uh, what do you say? They're kind of gin aristocracy, uh, like gin yeah, royalty. We'll stick with that one. Gin royalty. They know their stuff. Let's they know their way. stuff. There you go. Right. Oh, you right. have been struggling with these. Right, there you go. There's probably an easy way to do it, but oh. yeah. Yeah. As always, we try and eat first. Let's crack it open. This, when I read up about this gin, it did say um, they recommend a or try it with an elder L tonic. So Ooh. I'm going with regular tonic, but I've also, from uh, Lixa, but I've also got um, an elderflower with a bit of um, lemon in there. So I'm gonna do both. Okay. We can have one of each, why not? Like we did. We can do it. Before. Like we did before. Oh, that's lovely and sweet. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Mm. It's, oh, that's, that's... You get that blossom, you get the orange blossom in there, but the honey is lovely oh, and sweet. Beautiful. It's almost, it's almost kind of like golden syrupy. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's sweet. It's, um, I mean, there's, there's juniper taste in there. And you, you can, you get the juniper and you get a lot of juniper actually. Yeah. But you know, it's, um, you know, it's alcohol. Mm. It's got an alcohol mouthfeel. Oh, that honey is amazing. So it's the, I think it leads with the honey. Goes into the juniper, um, mm. yeah, like the or there's orange there permanently the whole time, but yeah. not overpowering. It's not because like it's the orange, orange blossom, yeah. so it's 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 more of the kind of like the real subtle. Yeah, no, it's 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 the it's the flower from it, so you're you're getting the orange flower. It's a bit like you know when the lemon tree in the garden, mm. right? So the, the the smell from that, so it's it's sweet, it's perfumey, it's also a little bit citrusy in there. This smells a bit licorice. -y. Are you getting that? I get that. Wow, that's the first time you've come up with something. Yeah, first. I know. It is a bit licorice on the nose. The combination of those those botanicals. In fact, it's very licorice now. Mmm. Now that it's opened it up a bit more, it's definitely a lot more licorice. -y. I get that. Right, put some ice in. Oh yeah. I get that. So we're going to garnish with some orange. Ooh. We're using using the balls again today. No expense spared, as, as it is a. Straight up tap. Yeah. <laughs> Straight out the tap. <laughs> you know, it's made them ourselves. <laughs> like I grew my lemons in my garden. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use that in there. So rather than, so at least we can know I'm getting a proper measure. Okay, yeah. do that. Right, there we go. Hand it in. Do you want to keep your little bit? Yeah, I'm going to finish mine. Right, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is a lot more licorice. Mm. I'm, I don't know why I'm, I'm smacking my lips. Up. Right, let, let you know what I'm going to pop a garnish in first because I can. Right, can do that. So, do you want elderflower? Shall I have the elderflower? Well, actually, we're going to we're going to both try yeah, it anyway. Fine. So let's let's do it. Didn't put a full bottle in. So there you go. So we haven't drowned it. Right. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers, Scott. Cheers to you. Mm hmm. Oh, that's nice with that elderflower. What one did I get? I got the lime, lime one, didn't I? Yeah. No, no, no. You got the normal one. I didn't even try mine yet. You got a normal tonic. Because I went like that. that. Yeah. That's a normal tonic. Yeah. Right, let me try your one. Yeah. 
Well, that's elderflower and lemon. That's what I said. Yeah. And that's that's the classic Indian. Yeah. I had the classic Indian. Yeah, the classic Indian. Right. What do you think? I don't like it with the classic Indian. It's nice with the elderflower, isn't it? So they're right. Then it's nice. I liked it with the, I like it with the Indian. I had to ask. Can you just smell that? I'm not going to say what it is. I think it's... What? What are you trying to say? It Let, just seems a little bit more things. overpowering in the orange. But maybe that's because this is... I think it's the, the orange yeah. on the nose. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Hmm. I had to check that. It just seemed very... These are very... <laughs> these are very orange they're oranges. very orange oranges. Yeah, smell that. Okay, very yeah. orangey oranges. Yeah. That's what it is. So, were you confused by the flavor, the, the the smell then? Yeah, that is actually. That is, I think because my smell was picking up that so yeah. much, it had influenced you my taste. You thought that it made it more orangey. No, that's really nice. Can I have some of that now? That makes it the elderflower makes it a lot more yeah. perfumey. Now we go back to my original. Yeah, it makes it a lot more kind of perfumey. Yeah, so and orange blossoming. Yeah, that made a that's made a heck of a difference. Do you want me to take that yes, away? Please. Here? You didn't want the garnish. Yeah, yeah, it was the orange. Wow. Was the orange putting you off? Yeah, I, I, I was reading too much into it because I was using. I wonder if we should like leave out garnishes. Well, you've obviously bought the expensive ones today. I bought the expensive ones today. Well, when I go when I go and buy the garnishes, they're definitely not the expensive ones. What, <laughs> What's on offer? What we what we could do is we could actually, seeing as we don't do the kind of montage anymore, we could actually try it without the garnish first and add the garnish in. I think that's probably the way forward. Yeah, so what, that definitely threw me. What this has done is uh, with the elderflower, it's brought out more of the kind of like delicate perfumey notes. It's a lot kind of sweeter. Um, it's sweeter, perfumey. It's it's quite heady. I think with the tonic, it's taken away some of the sweetness. Hmm. Yeah, you've still got a, quite a bit of sweetness in that one. This one, I think, has taken some of it, okay. the sweetness away. Right, let's um, let's give it a little score. Okay. Right, go. Go. Oh, okay. I love it. I love this one. Well done. I love this one. It's, I like it with tonic, and I really like regular tonic, and I really like it with the elderflower one. With the elderflower one, I think it's actually more my thing, so, so they're right to recommend it. Because you're quite fussy with elderflower as well. I'm really fussy with elderflower. I'm not a lover of elderflower, but this, I thought it nailed it. I thought it was really, really good. Yeah, I do think the elderflower is probably better. It just balances the flavours out more. Yeah. Yeah, I think the elderflower is the winner. Yeah, so 11. There you go. Um, well done. Well done. We've got more to do in this range, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Always drink responsibly, and like we say, do subscribe and do like, and also share any, if you've got any views on these, please share them. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.